Number 19. Calculate the percent by mass of KBR in a saturated solution of KBR in water at 10 degrees Celsius. And see figure 11.16 for useful data and report the computed percentage to one significant digit. Okay. So I pulled up figure 11.16 right here. This is basically your solubility charts. So we will go into uh, how to decipher what's going on on these charts. Now, generally speaking, uh, the y-axis is always going to be solubility. The amount of your solute, so your solid, either you're talking about sugar, KNO3, Na, NO3, right, NABR, KBR, KCl, NaCl, or Ce2SO43. So that amount of solute that is being dissolved in, specifically, 100 grams of H2O. And the solubility changes how much you can dissolve at different temperatures. And for the most part, as we increase in temperature, as we're getting hotter and hotter and hotter, a lot of these um, lines are increasing, which means that as you dissolve solids in liquids, specifically water, your solubility will increase. You can dissolve much more um, solids in hot uh, liquid versus cold liquid. So now we just want to find the percent by mass of KBR. So anytime that we're talking about a percent, right, a percent is always a part over a whole times 100. So maybe I'll just write that down, right? Any percent is part over whole times 100. So now we just have to talk about it in terms of they want the mass percent of specifically KBR. So the percent of KBR would be, and maybe, maybe, we'll put that, something divided by something times 100. Now, it's part divided by the whole entire thing. In this case, our part is going to be the mass of KBR, right? And a mass is always in terms of grams. So we want grams of KBR divided by the whole entire amount of the solution, right? So we'll just say grams of the solution. Keep in mind that when you're talking about something uh, as a whole and you're talking about aqueous information, the solution is the entire uh, thing because you have three S's. You have a solute and a solvent, and together they will make your solution. Now, always the solute will be dissolved in the solvent, and together they make up the whole entire solution. Now, in this case, we just have to find the KBR line. So I skim all of my solutes here, and here is the line that we care about, KBR. And now, maybe I'll just put, here's my line. It's pretty linear. That looks good to me. And now we just want to find out what's going on at 10 degrees Celsius. So I have to find that temperature on my x-axis. Seems like 10 degrees would be right between 1 and uh, 0 and 20, so that's 10. But now, here's my line, right? Do I go right to the line? Do I go below the line? Do I go above the line? Well, this is all said when they said that we were in a saturated solution. Anytime that you're dealing with saturated solutions, that means that you have reached the absolute max of your solute that's going to dissolve in the 100 grams of H2O in this case. So you would be right on that line. So anytime that they say you have a saturated solution, you are on that line for any for any uh, solution. If you were above, so here's my KBR line, if you were above the line, that's super saturated. If you were below the line, that's unsaturated. So for sugar, being anywhere on this line is saturated. Anywhere above the line is super saturated. Anything below the line is unsaturated for sugar. But we care about KBR. So I'm just going to go up until I reach that line. And it looks about right here. 
So they gave us they gave us a pretty a pretty good one. This could be traced back to 60. That's 60 grams of the solute. And in this case, the KBr is the solute. So percent KBr equals we got the solute amount. So 60. But now we need the total solution. Well, in this case, we had KBr as my solute being dunked in the water. That's the solvent. And together they make up the solution, right? So in this case, my solution amount would be the 60 grams plus the water amount. And the water they told me was 100 grams of H2O. That's the solvent. So I'm going to add 100 grams. So if we just write this out, percent KBr equals something times something times 100, something divided by, um, and we get 60, ooh, 60 divided by 160 times 100. So if I just go to Calci, I do 60 divided by 160 times 100, I could do all this in one shot, and I get 37.5. So this specifically said, though, that we need to round this to one significant digit. So maybe I'll put the 37.5, but because of the one sig fig, so maybe I'll just say that this now we have to do one sig fig, we would have to keep the the three, right? But the seven rounds the three up to a four. And I need to say something along the lines of it's close to 37. So I can't just say four. I would have to say 40. I'm not going to put a decimal there because if I add the decimal, that's two sig figs. So I'm just going to say 40. And that is one sig fig. Um, and that's it. I hope this helps. 40% roughly is the percent by mass. So that means that in this solution, 40% is the solute, KBr. The 60% is going to be the solvent, the H2O. And that is it. I hope this helps. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. And I look forward to helping you in more questions. Good luck on those tests and quizzes. I'm here for you guys every step of the way in these videos. I want you guys to succeed and do well on, on those tests and quizzes, okay? So I'll be here for you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.